Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 8, Lesson, Algebraic Equations. This will be an introduction to e equations. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. Example, Faith has lost her number, but the following clue can help her. Please find her lost number. Now the clue is, when 3 is added to 5 times the lost number, the total sum is 43. Now the purpose of algebra is to make it easy to state a mathematical relationship and its equation by using letters of the alphabet or other symbols to represent entities, for example. So the relationship between two quantities is described as follows. The second quantity is always 3 times the first quantity plus 8. In a flow diagram, you can see there you are. Times 3 plus 8. So out number equals to input number times 3 plus 8. So let input number be x and output number be y. Therefore, the equation describing the relationship is y equals to 3x plus 8. So if we go back to the example of faith, then you must try and make up an equation when 3 is added to 5 times the lost number. So what you do is then you can say let the lost number be x for instance. Then it is 5 times x plus 3. And there you are. 5x plus 3 equals to 43. And then you can solve for x. If you look at the, at the equation given, 4x minus 7 equals to 5, then 4x minus 7 on the left hand side is the expression or the algebraic expression. 4x, negative 7, 5, each one is a term on its own. And there you are. So variables and constants in a given formula and equation. So we're back with the example of phase. So I hope you gave it some thought. So let's see then how can we solve it. So remember now, Faith lost her number, but the clue is when 3 is added to the 5 times the lost number, the total is 43. So solution to Faith's lost number. If the total sum is 43, then before 3 was added, the number was 43. Subtract 3 from, from subtract 3, which is 40. The number that we are looking for was multiplied by 5 to get 40. Therefore, this number must be divided by 5, which is equal to 8. Thus, suppose the lost number is x, then 3 plus 5x is 43. Therefore, 3 plus 5 times 8. So there you are, x equals to 8. Of course, there are other ways of doing it, but perhaps this is maybe the best way to do it. An equation has two parts that are separated by an equal sign. The left side is always equivalent to the right side. Equivalent means that the left side and the right side do not look exactly the same, but they always have the same value. Solving an equation through inspection means finding the value of x or any other variable by just looking at the equation and doing the calculations in our head. Inverse operations, for instance, solve for x, x plus 9 is 30. So what we do is we write a number sentence like a little square plus 9 equals to 30. And of course, 30 minus 9 is 21. So therefore, x is 21 because 21 plus 9 is 30. Then you can also do what we call trial and error method where you have solve for x, 3x plus 1 equals to 6x minus 11. So let's test whether x equals to 1 is working. So if you test 1 on the left hand side, then you will see that the left hand side is then a 4. If I do the same on the right hand side, I get a negative 5. So there you are, the two sides are not equal. Then we try let x be 2. Can we do the same with 2? We again notice that the left hand side and the right hand side are not equal. And then when you try 4, then you get a 13 on both sides. Now, this is a method which, of course, takes long, but it is a method nevertheless. Remember, substitution means to write a number in the place of a variable. When substituting numbers for variables, 
put them into brackets in the equation, find and determine means the same thing in mathematics, find or determine. Example, calculate 2x minus 5 if x is 7. So we do it, we write down the problem, we do the substitution, we always use brackets, remember? Then you'll get 2 times 7 is 40, minus 5 is 9. Find A when given that the equation A equals to BD minus 6C, 6C and B is negative 1, D negative 2, and C a 2. Again, use brackets when you do your substitution, that is advisable. Then you can either use a calculator now, or you can do it mentally, like negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2, negative 6 times 2 is a negative 12, so therefore the answer is negative 10. Now, this is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a huge like and subscribe. Subscription is free.